Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about one of the logical connective called as negation in discrete mathematics and graph theory course. In this video, we have to discuss about the following points. How to get the negation of a given proposition? How to represent the negation of a given proposition? What is the example for negation connective? And what is the truth table of negation connective? These are the points that we are discussed in this video. Now, let us consider a proposition such as New Delhi is the capital of India. This is one proposition. How to get the negation of that proposition? The negation of this proposition can be obtained by inserting the word called as not at an appropriate place in the given proposition. Then we are getting the negation of the this proposition. Now I am writing New Delhi is not the capital of India. Here we are inserting the word not at an appropriate place in the given proposition. Then we are getting the negation of this proposition. So simply we are inserting the word not at an appropriate place in a given proposition. Then we are getting the negation of that given proposition. So the given proposition can be denoted by capital P. So P contains a statement such as New Delhi is the capital of India. Negation of this statement can be denoted as negation P. That means New Delhi is not the capital of India. So, it can be negation P can be read it as negation P can be read it as not P. Not P. Okay. So, the symbol negation uh, represents the word not. The symbol, this symbol represents the word not. So, for representing the negation of a given proposition, we are using this symbol. This symbol represents the word not. By inserting the word not in a given proposition, we are getting the negation of a given proposition. So, P is a given proposition. Negation of that proposition can be denoted by negation P. This symbol represents the word not. Now, we are considering another example. We are taking another proposition. 3 is a prime number that can be denoted by P. How to get the negation of that proposition? For getting the negation of this proposition, simply we are inserting the word not at an appropriate place in the given proposition. So, 3 is not a prime number. Here, we are inserting the word not in this place for getting the negation of that proposition. Then, what is the truth table of negation 
connective. In that uh, negation connective, we are considering only one proposition. Okay. Among all the five connectives such as conjunction, disjunction, conditional, biconditional, negation, negation can be used for a single proposition whereas conjunction, disjunction, conditional, biconditional can be used for more than one proposition. Okay. So, for, for using the negation connective, how many number of propositions are required? Only one proposition is required. So, n is nothing but number of propositions used in the case of negation connective only one okay how many number of rows that are present in the truth table when the number of given propositions is one that is 2 power n that is nothing but 2 power 1 because n value is 1 then we are getting 2 rows in the truth table how many number of rows that are present in the truth table that is 2 power n where n is nothing but number of propositions in the case of negation connective we are using a single proposition so that n value is equal to 1 after substituting n value 1 then we are getting 2 rows in the truth table so So, two rows that are present in the truth table. Okay. The first column of the truth table contains the possible truth values of the given proposition P. Okay. What are the possible truth values of given proposition P? So, suppose New Delhi is the capital of India. If the proposition is true, then we have to represent here. Suppose if the proposition is false, then we are representing here. That means P contains may be true, may be false. Two possible truth values for a given proposition P. It may contain either true value or a false value. So P is one proposition for that proposition, it may contain either true value or a false value. Okay. When the P value is true, what is the negation P truth value? It is false. That means, how we are getting false? Negation P is nothing but not true. Not true is nothing but false. If P value is false, then what is the truth value of negation P? Not false. That is nothing but true. So, the second column represents the corresponding truth values of negation P. First column represents the possible truth values of P. Okay. So, P value is true. Negation P truth value is false. If P value is false, negation P truth value is true. So, this is the truth table of negation. So, I hope all of you understanding this concept. So, summary point is, suppose we are taking one proposition for that proposition, the negation of that proposition can be obtained by inserting the word not at an appropriate place in the given proposition can be called as negation of that proposition. Suppose we are taking P is one proposition. Negation of that proposition can be denoted by using this symbol negation P. So, this symbol represents the word 
not. This symbol represents the word not. So negation P can be read it as not P. That means if P value is true, then what is the truth value of negation P? Not true. Not true is nothing but false. If P value is false, what is the truth value of negation P? Not false. Not false is nothing but true. Okay. So these are the summary points of negation connective in logical connectives. In the next video, we have to discuss about conjunction connective in the logical connectives in discrete mathematics and graph theory. I hope all of you understanding this video. If you have any doubts, please put your doubts in the comment section. I will try to clarify your doubts. If you really understanding this video, please share this video to your friends and classmates. After subscribing my YouTube channel, so Divvela Srinivasa So this is my channel name. Please subscribe this channel for getting the future updates in my YouTube channel. After subscribing my YouTube channel, click on the bell icon to get the future updates. Thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video.